everybody, this is Lauren of Plan Mosh Plan. Welcome back to another plan with me. This week I am memory planning, ooh, I don't know what week, a random week in April, uh, the week of the 12th in April, and I am so excited to share this plan with me with you guys. I wasn't sure how this was going to turn out because, um, well first let me tell you about the kit. This is the Vintage Florals Kit from Jackson Pepper. It is beautiful. It is so soft and pretty and florally. Um, it has silver foil, which looks so good with some of like the cool toned colors in this spread, the sage greens and the light lavenders, lilacs, um, and even kind of cool toned. Well, they're not super, yeah, they're cool toned pinks. It's just, it's so nice. And it turned out so like light and clean looking, but also like the name suits it well, very vintage floral. And I just love how it, I'm so excited. I really am. I wasn't sure about it because I was planning this. Um, I was super determined to get this video up on Sunday. If you're watching this the day it comes out, it's probably coming up on Monday. So on Saturday night, I stayed up so late um, trying to get it done. And I was literally doing this at like one in the morning on Saturday night. And I was like, oh man, I'm going to be too tired to be creative. Like I'm not going to like it. But no, I just really, really did. I really enjoyed it. I do like the second half of the week. Well, I like both. I like the first half of the week. The second half of the week, I realized um, that I had more floral pieces because they were so big. I think when I was, I bought two sheets of floral deco with this kit. You have to buy the headers and the floral um, deco separately. And I bought two sheets because I always do that, at least two sheets. <laughs> and I was looking at it and I was like, oh, the pieces are so big. Like, I don't know if I'm going to have enough to really like use it as much as I want to. So I felt like I was kind of trying to ration it a bit at the beginning. And then I got to the end and I like Wednesday or something. And I was like, I really don't need to ration this. I have so much just because I was able to cut it up um, in ways where I could use each sticker or some of the stickers like sometimes up to six times in the spread just for one sticker so um anyways the second half of the week is definitely more floral deco decorated than the first half but I still really like both of them um truly it was such a pleasure to use this I wasn't sure how I was going to do with her new format since her boxes are a little bit different than I prefer but I pulled in a lot of other boxes and I just really felt like I had the opportunity to be super creative and um, yeah, just really loved it a lot. <laughs> so that's a little bit about the spread. Um, I feel like I am just in such a good flow of planning right now. Like I feel like the past four spreads that I've done, there's one that I haven't uploaded yet. It's coming, um, next week. And I think you guys are going to be really excited about it. I'm super excited about it. It's a super fun, um, kind of thing, um, that I will announce very soon, but, um, yeah, leave a comment down below if you have any guesses, but I'm super excited for it. Um, anyways, I feel like the, these past like four spreads I've done, I have just been in such a flow and just every single time I do one, I'm like, this is my new favorite spread I've ever done. <laughs> and then the next time I'm like, no, this is my new favorite. This is my new favorite. Like I've just been really, really enjoying it. And I think it's because I've really nailed down what's important to me in a kit. And I've been pretty vocal, I think, about like asking shop owners to just make separate deco sheets because for me, that's the biggest thing. The more like floral deco I have to play with, the more creative I feel like I can be. And um, the past couple kits that I've used, I have been using multiple, multiple sheets of floral deco and that's what's made it so fun for me. And it really feels like I get to come into my style and do exactly what I want to do and make the spread turn out exactly how I want it to when I have all of that to play with. So that has been really fun and I, I've decided that I'm just, I need to be very strict with myself. Sometimes I get tempted by kits that um, are beautiful and I love the kit and it's like gorgeous, <laughs> but um, they don't have floral add-ons where I can buy as much as I want and I just need to tell myself, Lauren, no, no more. We are not buying any kits that don't have floral add-on sheets because it's just not worth it. I have to be able to have a bunch, so... Anyways, that's that's a little about me and my thought process and, and planning journey the past couple of weeks here. Um, okay, I'll talk a little bit about the base of the kit before we move into the day by day. Um, pretty standard. I did add some Sadie's stickers um, foil, like bottom, the, that lace bottom washi kind of foil. I added that on because 
the bottom piece wasn't very foiled and I don't know I felt like I needed more and I feel like lace really went well with this kit I also think that I could have used more lace stickers in general if you have this kit I would totally recommend pulling out some like lace stickers from bloom paper studio I think that'd be really pretty with this I wish I would have done that well on one hand I wish I would have done it and on the other hand I'm like it actually turned out so great so <laughs> all good but there's an idea um in the sidebar I put I used a lot of Sadie sticker stuff the little dots around the full box those are um, from Sadie Stickers. The April script is from Paper Trail Plans. They're opening in July. Um, yeah, just, I don't know. There's a bunch of cute stuff in the sidebar. Definitely leave me a comment down below if you want specifically to know where any of that is from. Okay, moving on to Monday. I marked that I started a new book. Um, it's actually the first audio book that I've read. Well, I normally, I prefer to read books. I used to, I've listened to a couple audio books like when I was a kid, when it was like you would like a CD or from them or something. But um, I did try to start listening to the Atomic Habit Habits book while I was working, kind of instead of a podcast. So um, I marked that with some White Deer stationery stickers and then some, um, you know, foil pieces. Um, I marked, okay, so Monday I got a little bit cut off. So I marked grocery shopping, um, a call, and making some shrimp bowls all with white deer stationery stickers there was a colorway in one of her in her like thread or one color in her colorway and all of her stickers matched so perfectly with the purple color in this it was like fantastic so I used that I'll talk a little bit more about the layering and stuff that I did um something I really did love though I marked that I ordered some books from thriftbooks.com I don't know if you guys have ever heard of thrift books I've been buying pretty much every book that I have that's not a digital copy of a book any physical book that I've bought for like the past five years probably is from thriftbooks.com it's just buying like thrifted books obviously but they're so inexpensive you can choose the quality type and then even if they don't have one in stock right now whatever book you're looking for you can set an alert so as soon as you get it or as soon as they get it you can buy it and they're so discounted so definitely recommend that if you like um digital copies of books I'll leave a link down below I don't know if they do like a affiliate thing but a referral thing but if they do I will use it <laughs> but anyways it's just thriftbooks.com if you're not interested um okay so on to Tuesday I marked that I had a like a loan call whatever the whole house buying process um and I used her like quarter-ish boxes for the kit they were just like all of her boxes were basically just strips of washi cut to certain sizes they don't have any um like whited out space or whatever you can see right here I'm marking taco Tuesday layering one that's like that purple strip is her like half box essentially I like to write on stuff that's whited out so I used a lot of different boxes from my collection to white out a space for it which was fun to do I was a little nervous going into it, but I have so many and I, you know, I've always done that. It's always been a thing and it was like, okay, every time, every single box I use in this kit will be that. So for the Taco Tuesday, I cut out some florals. That box is from Harriet Wright Designs. Most of the like fancy looking boxes, whether they're the smaller size or that size were from Harriet Wright Designs. And then I used tacos from White Deer Stationery. Um, I also cut up, she had scallop checklists and I cut them in half kind of to make a scallop border and laid a pretty pink cobo over top it. I thought that was pretty cute. Um, I did that a couple times just to make kind of some borders um, around the week. I marked all my meetings pretty much the same way. I took a, uh, those, those like washi bow boxes, just so classic from Simply Watercolor Co. And I layered some floral deco from the kit to the side of it. I really liked how it looked. I love those like washi boxes from Simply Watercolor Co. And the colorways that I had, I felt worked really well with, sorry, with this kit. Um, so I was really into that. And then let's see that. Oh gosh, my computer's gonna die. Hold please. <laughs> Let me find this. Sorry if you can hear this noise. Um, the little scallop that I did right there is from uh, Sadie's stickers. Oh, so sorry for the noise. So sorry. Okay. We're plugged in, so you're not going to die. Great. 
Um, I marked some stuff that I had to do with for work by making a little checklist, cutting down the checklist there. I don't always love checklists, but occasionally when I have like errands to do, calls to make, things to work, and I've got multiple, I like to do that. Um, I marked meal prepping this day with the apron from the kit and the little leaf deco. I love that she also, in like aside from in including a bunch of different florals and different shapes of floral bouquets and different floral bouquets, she also included individual pieces of little leaves and greenery. Love that. That's my favorite. Um, so I used that to mark meal prepping and then I marked working late with that quarter box from the kit. And again, white or stationary icons, florals, all that. And I made a little floral, floral bouquet down at the bottom of Thursday as well, using a ton of honey inked kind of like deco, all the, that kind of stuff, foil deco layered on top of it, as well as a pretty pink coat bow. Um, also, all of the bows that I use to foil all of the white deer stationary icons are from um, simple, my spoiled planner. So those are my favorite bows I think of all time. Definitely check her out. I have a coupon code for her. I think it's Lauren15. And I also have a freebie with her shop too. I don't I think I have a picture of it yet, so I haven't posted it, but it's very cute. So if you do check out with her, make sure to put my name so you can get a freebie. Um, okay, moving on to uh, Thursday. I marked my meetings and then I marked doing a Sephora haul on Instagram. I cut, there was like these big circular like wreaths of um, florals and I cut kind of like a section of one and layered it behind the Harriet Wright Designs box. I thought that was really cute and I layered the lipstick over top. That full box in particular was super like there was a lot of white space so I filled it all in with um, giving girl hanging banners and deco. Um, Stephen and I went on a really long walk this day all throughout downtown and I was like thirsty and for I never crave any sort of juice or like sweet drink or anything I pretty much only drink like you know alcohol on the weekends whatever and then like seltzer water water and coffee that's about the extent of what I drink but I really wanted a pressed juice this day so we went and walked there and I got a ton of them you got to be careful with those because some of them sound so healthy but are loaded with sugar like as much as a soda so I'm really careful to get ones that are not um, I feel like I just got a like lawsuit email from them one of those anyway it doesn't matter <laughs> um okay what else did I mark here oh I just marked making chicken teriyaki bowls and again I um made a very cute little floral display down below lots of honey inked kind of like layering pieces here I just shopped her new releases she took so many I think I have Rachel to thank for this but she took so many of the like individual branches and clusters that I use all the time and made them on separate sheets and I'm so excited I totally loaded up on those so if you like what I'm doing here where I make all of my florals I add the foil to it definitely check out her new releases um speaking of all that on Friday was the PBC sale. I did a big kind of shopping spree. I took that floral box from the kit and um, that was on the deco sheet. I probably wouldn't do that again. I cut it up for the other second deco sheet, but um, it was very big and dramatic. So I layered a bunch of, you know, foil over it. I marked going to Star Starbucks in the morning. Um, I loved what I did with the, I just love those new cups from White Deer Stationery. Um, they're so beautiful, the coffee cups, layering some honey inked, Deco, my spoiled planner bow, etc. And then the um, floral behind it, I just thought was really pretty. I went in the morning and I marked my morning walk there as well with a Mind Mindedest Addiction bow. Um, oh, speaking of the Starbucks, I, that's another example of me taking what I think is like a in between a quarter and third box from the kit. And then I layered um, the Craft Spite. That's a Craft Spite Towie kind of scallop quarter box. That's what I did for pretty much all the times that I was using those, um, that size piece of, like, I want to call it washi, but I, I think the intention is for it to be a quarter box from the kit. I marked editing kind of similarly to how I marked everything else, and then I marked that I spent a lot of time cleaning our house um, this day with a flag from the kit. I think I trimmed that down a bit, and then again, white dirt stationery, layered a bunch of deco, you get it. Um, on Sunday, Stephen and I went out to brunch and I used, that is that big floral wreath from the kit. I layered a scallop box from Crafts by Towie um, over top of it. It matches all of the quarter boxes that I used, so I like that because it felt cohesive. And then, of course, 
white dress stationery icons and a bunch my flood planner deco <laughs> bow on top and a bunch of honey ink deco so that was that um taking an arrow from the kit i very rarely use like layering pieces that are included in kits anymore i much rather opt for deco instead but i did like the like solid pink color with the um with the green kind of leaf behind it and then the icon i think is from paper muse crafts to mark a voiceover that i did um oh this was really fun i liked how i marked this I did a, I announced this day that I was joining Sadie Sticker's PR team, so um, super fun. I used kind of the same thing where I was cutting up pieces of floral and having them look like they're coming out from the sides over top the Harriet Wright Designs box. She is on vacation right now, by the way, so don't go looking for that necessarily. Um, and then I also took a little, like, I don't know if it's lilac bouquet or whatever, layered that over some Bloom Paper Studio deco and then let's see that's a Sadie stickers hanging banner and I just made it really fancy I thought that was really cute um I wanted I used that Sadie stickers banner because I was like well I have to use a Sadie stickers sticker to mark that I'm out I'm gonna be on her PR team um again another little floral bouquet coming out of the bottom there and then I also marked with another white dress stationery sticker planner layered with deco from the kit and giving girl a little bow cluster that I'm placing here to mark that I posted a plane with me this day. Okay. I feel like it's a little repetitive because I just, again, it's like honey inked branches and dot clusters, my spoiled planner bows, um, cut up florals from the kit, white dress stationery icons. That's the spread. <laughs> Harry Wright designs, like fancy boxes, crafts by Towie, layered over top, um, the strips of washi slash quarter boxes like that's the whole spread <laughs> um okay so on to sunday i started with the floral bouquet coming from the top instead of the bottom again i layered a sadie stickers little divider over the top there um to match the ones that i used on the other side on the full box I walked to the farmer's market this morning, which was really nice. There's one very close and I hadn't been. It was kind of one of those things where I think if I would have gone earlier in the morning, there would have been more options. Um, I used to, in, in our old house in the old city we went to, we went to like a grade A farmer's market that happened every week. It was incredible. So I kind of feel like nothing can compare now, but I did get some really good stuff. I marked filming the plan with me. That's a Magic Prince Co. sticker. I made a reel this day and it took forever so I marked that with a phone from white dare stationery I got that off a of freebie but I think I need to order those now um again I cleaned my house again I marked that a bit more simply with just a quarter box from the kit and then the broom again white dare stationery I marked a plans change episode I thought it was really cute to put the little 4 p.m in the ipad I watch them on my ipad generally so I thought that was really cute layered again deco my spoiled planner bow getting repetitive I'm so sorry <laughs> and then here I wanted the purple but the purple box that was intended to be a quarter box was a little bit too small for me layering the crafts by Tally box over top so I cut it up and then added more floral florals etc and I marked I think Stephen maybe was out of town or something because he wanted to get pizza so badly so we like went out and bought pizza that night which is very we don't generally do that on Sundays the pizza sticker is from crafts by Towie so all right I'm showing you the whole spread I again I adore it I think it looks so soft and feminine so pretty and clean I just really love it all right I'm showing you or I'm about to show you the leftovers that I have from the kit whoever gets this um will have a ton left over I'm not gonna lie I did keep some of the florals to myself <laughs> for my own collection because they're so good I'm gonna pull them into future spreads but um as you can see here I am putting the rest of the kit in here and if you're new what I'm going to do with this sticker book is fill it up as much as I can with all of the kits the leftovers from kits that I use and then once it's filled up I will be giving it away on my YouTube channel so that is a little bit about that um I also wanted to mention that I I always say this in my videos but I have a ton of PR codes especially for a lot of the shops that I mentioned over and over again in this video like um Bloom Paper Studio my my spoiled planner etc etc so please make sure that you check it down below um, if you're interested in purchasing any of that stuff so that way you get a um, 
some, you know, some money off when you purchase. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. I had so much fun doing this spread. I really, really fell in love with it in a big way. Um, so I, I hope you did too. And I appreciate you watching. Also, quick note, the audio on this video was a little bit low. Um, I'm going to fix that for next time. I know what the problem was, but a heads up that if you're going to watch another YouTube video, uh, turn the volume down because you probably turned it up while you were watching. Okay, that's all. Thanks, everybody. Bye.